that's memory for myself. Have a bon finish and all of you just enjoy that motherhood. Say, okay, I'm born, I'm born, and again, but you can't worry me. Hi, loves. So, just keeping you guys a detail on my health, okay. I finally now know what the problem is with my health. So they took my blood sample to go to test. They just brought the result. This is the result. So they just brought the result. So it happens to be that I have a very high typhoid and a little trace of malaria. But my PCV is okay according to them. But the typhoid is high. So now I'm asked not to breastfeed my baby. While I'm going on treatment, so yeah, my baby is just two months old, so I'll have to start how it's baby food. This will be the first time I'm giving my baby baby food that early, okay? Because all my kids, I did exclusive to six months, so I don't know. This is just my this is my baby number four for those just joining in, okay? You can go back to watch my old videos, so yeah. Hi lovelies, so I just want to give you guys updates, okay? So you guys, I have decided not to breastfeed my baby because due to my health, okay? I observed that throughout all this process, all these challenges I've been facing after the delivery of my baby, okay, the anxiety and everything, I found out that I had um, um, typhoid, okay? So I did a typhoid and a blood. Firstly, I went to do an x-ray checkup. Okay, so it happens to be that I have my chest because I was scared I was not able to breathe fine, okay? Anxiety and fear was was around me, you get. So I had to go do chests because whenever I want to breathe, it's as if I'm breathing very fast. So I went to do an x-ray checkup, okay? After an x-ray checkup, and the, the result came out to be that I'm okay, okay? That I'm fine. My heart is in place, is intact. My chest is intact. My ribs everywhere is intact. So I was like, okay, why the anxiety? Why am I feeling like I'm breathing very fast? So I checked again. We went, went to a chemist shop, okay? They now said, maybe I have an ulcer. And it happened to be that I don't have an ulcer. So I was, I was still wondering like, okay, what's the problem? Why am I having this, um, this fast breath, you know? So it now happened to be that as time goes on, I now observe that whenever I finish breastfeeding my baby, I do have some i do have this emptiness inside my tummy like total emptiness you know and immediately i i eat whenever i feel it is like i'm hungry but the hunger is like times two like as if warm is eating your intestine like your, your your tummy is just so empty there's there's nothing inside there so that is the kind of feeling i do feel so whenever i eat after eating i feel hungry instantly so i'm like what's the problem and if I finish breastfeeding my baby, I will be so, my whole system will be so different. Like, I'm not myself. Like, I'm having this anxiety from nowhere. Like, what am I scared of? Nothing. So, I now, we now had to, the nurse that was treating me that, after finding that I had um, typhoid and malaria, I started taking treatment. So, after taking the treatment, why take it, why are you taking the treatment, okay? I now was breastfeeding my baby, that was when I now observe all these things. So the nurse now told me that I should stop breastfeeding my baby and let's see if there's any changes. So I did not breastfeed my baby for a whole full one day. And the I didn't breastfeed my baby for that full one day. It was as if a relief came to me. I did not breastfeed my baby for a whole full day. Like 24 hours, I didn't breastfeed my baby at all. My body was like as if it's coming back to its place. You understand? Like my body was coming together, you get. So the next day again, I didn't breastfeed my baby. It was very hard to see my baby crying, you know. Without putting her by my side and breastfeeding her, it's, it's something, it's, as in, it means a lot to me, honestly. I really miss it. So it's now three days now I've not breastfed my baby. So yeah, but I thank God that she's taking baby food, okay? We, have, we started giving her baby food and she's taking it very well, like very well. And it's okay on her and I'm so really grateful for God, for her not to select. Well, there are some babies that will be crying and selecting not to eat it to get. But this one, she took it like it's breast milk, she's sucking. As if God really understood 
what was really happening. I'm sure God knows everything, what is really going on with me. So yeah, that's just the update. I'm no longer breastfeeding my baby. She's just two months and four days old. And it's heartbreaking though, but at least I'm, I'm glad to be alive to hold my baby in my arms, see my baby you get because there's some women that are put to bed and they're not able to see their baby, let alone breastfeed their baby. But yes, at least she sucked it for two months. So I'm just giving God the glory for the gift of life. Okay, because then they say when you start giving birth to children, there are some children that comes into this world through you with different legs. And this one really came with a different leg and with a blessing as well. I call it as a blessing because it's really a blessing to my life. Yeah. Because with the process of delivering her till now, all the process, all the, all the, and I don't want to go back to remember anything, but I still thank God for today that I'm able to hold my baby in my arms and still give her baby food, even though I'm not breastfeeding her. So, yes. That's just the update right now. So I just pray that everything to just the month to just be running very fast. We are in the month of September, and this September is my best month. So I've just been hopeful, finger crossed that God should just make everything to go fast. My request, my birthday request from God is for me to just have a good life, enjoy this new life because this is indeed a new life for me right now. So yes, with my baby and my other kids, my four, my three other kids, you get my mom of four now. So I'm grateful to God. So yeah, this is just me giving you guys another update, okay? Of after two months of my delivery, you get. So yes, if you're just joining my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. I still remain your baby girl, Ifoma Hianacho. My name is Ifoma Hianacho. I'm YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria, okay? Feel free to go and watch other of my videos, okay? To enjoy yourself and give me your beautiful comment down below, okay? For us to get to born more better. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? Thank you so much. Till I come your way again with another beautiful video, please keep praying for me, okay? And also to other mothers that will, that will be going through the same thing with me, the Lord is your strength, okay? Just always pray. Prayer is everything. And I observe whenever I pray, God answers and hears my prayers. So yes, you guys, see you all in my next video. For now, I want to go have a rest. Okay, my baby is with my mom. My mom is really, 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 she has really been a helpful hand to me, trust me. And a couple of my husband as well. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining in. See you all in my next video. I know the day is already getting there. I don't feel like doing this video, using this daylight to do the video. So see you all in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye. <laughs>